For many people, turning the big 4-0 can be devastating, but there is hope. There are ways to beat the aging process. And here to provide us with some helpful tips on approaching and maintaining that younger 30-something feeling is Andrea Metcalf, health and fitness expert. Andrea, great to see you again. Great to see you too. So why are some people so afraid of turning 40? Well, there's a there's a big thing with 40. It's midlife. It's that over-the-hill kind of start that you think about, and there's hormonal changes, and there's the first signs of visible aging. Mm. In your 30s, you don't really think about your skin. In your 40s, you're like, oh, I just noticed that. Right. But isn't 40 the new 30 these days? If you keep yourself right. in good shape, of course 40 can be the new 25. Absolutely. Um, but still, there are some things you need to do and think about, and you need to feel good about it, because you know what? It's better than the alternative. Absolutely. And you say the first thing we have to do, whether or not we exercised a lot when we were younger, now that you're turning that corner, you really need to embrace exercise. That's right. You know, turning 40 is so much about getting fit and healthy and feeling good from the inside out. I'm not saying that you have to make a big goal and run a marathon like you know some people do when they're 40 or 50. Although that might be fun if you're into it. <laughs> it might be fun. Just remember that's not a weight loss plan. It's a goal. Right. Getting fit is about doing incremental exercise, whether it's you know doing a DVD at home or going out for a walk. And there's some products that are geared for the over 40 market, mm -hmm. which is nice. Um, new videos, Keeping Fit. Your new video, congratulations. Thank you. You know, I'm 45 years old, and so I... And you look fantastic, well, so we should all be doing <laughs> what you're doing. Well, <laughs> small incremental exercise, and there's strength, cardio, and Pilates, which are the things that we need to do, lower impact activities, not a lot of heavy impact intensity. And then, you know, getting a mat, um, there are so many great products easy trainer mat. This has the pictures right on it so you can feel good and learn the progressions, which is what this mat's about. So with this mat, also, do we need to do a lot of stretching? Does stretching become more important as we age? Flexibility is important, but flexibility is based on the balance of muscles. Mm -hmm. So if I'm really strong in my thighs, but not in the backside, that's going to limit my flexibility. So flexibility is really about being balanced in your exercise program. So is this really when, when you start to round that corner, is that also when you need to think about shedding whatever unwanted pounds you've been carrying around That's for a right, while. Because not only does weight impact the body on health issues like for your heart, but also on your joints. And if your joints are feeling it, that's when you're going to kind of wake up in the morning and go, oh, this doesn't feel so right, good. I right. wish I was 20 again. But building muscle strength is the key to keeping yourself sort of lean and thin, right? Right. And keeping your metabolism up, which helps in that weight loss. All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here's another little thing. Everyone looks good in their 20s, but if you look fit and healthy in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, you're in that better population percentage. That's right. good about yourself. <laughs> good point. Good point. Now let's talk about cheating cheaters, which is another tip that you have. You know, it was such a day when I had to look at the medicine bottle and I couldn't read it. Um, and then you're at restaurants and the print on the restaurants you'd think would be bigger because we're out to dinner more in our 40s and 50s, but instead um, it's small. And I found this product. I know they look a little crazy that they're like Harry Potter style, but they're actually kind of cute. And when you wear Ooh, them, they look good on you. You see normally, but when I want to, I touch the nose bridge and now I can read. Ah, so there's this very subtle little change that nobody else has to know about. Ah. I feel good about it. It's not like I have to pull them out of my purse. Do they come in different styles? They're, this is the basic style right now. They're a brand new product and they also have, you know, some shades in there so you can put on the sunglasses. Oh, very nice. But I think they're fun. I, I love the idea of it and I'm hoping that they come up with a few more styles yeah. because I do well, like Harry Potter, but right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Those do look good on you, but I'd, I'd be willing to wait for a few new styles. Yeah, I too. like this, you know, I love the idea of true focals so absolutely all right now you also say now is the time to eat like a baby and you don't mean baby food no <laughs> no I mean don't go don't go to the extreme we don't have to get to just those meal replacements but it's the time in your life when you really want to think about you would never let your children go to school without breakfast so always eat breakfast you really try and get them to eat their fruits and vegetables so that's what you need to do as well and just like when you are pregnant taking some prenatal supplements 
now's the time to worry about getting enough calcium and getting enough B vitamins and folate to really keep your body healthy. So treat your nutrition as carefully as you would your child. Right. I mean, think about taking supplements. You know, they're, these are for women. Mm -hmm. These are the ones I take. Pink and purple. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, you take them with food. You also may want to think about adding some chondroitin glucosamine, whether it's in pill form or liquid. What does that do? Chondroitin glucosamine are the building blocks of better joints. They help replenish the cartilage and let it hold on to the moisture so that your joints are more movable. Um, just a good idea, especially if you have any near hip issues, if you are a runner, to start taking chondroitin glucosamine in your 30s preventively, but really in your 40s. And I've been taking it since I was like 31 because I've had four knee surgeries. Right. But it's just a really great health practice along with supplements. Good, good to know. And then finally, we've done all of these things, so we need to just feel fabulous, right? Feel, feel it, it, feel You've it. You've got to feel fabulous now sometimes. It's not always that I want to wait the six weeks for my exercise program to really show the results. And there are a lot of great products on the market. This is um, a miracle workout top. But you already are fabulous. I know, well, but this, this makes it look better. <laughs> it holds it any bit tighter. If I take this off, you don't know what's underneath. So these underneath. are like girdles, sort of. They're, they're compression. I mm -hmm. mean, even in the tights, this is by Spanx. You can see the compression. It actually feels love good. That. It aids in circulation. They what woman doesn't love that sort of like pulled up feeling? It does. It know? reminds you to stand taller. Absolutely. Um, they have the tops that have the compression in the sides. And nice. even more fun, this is a new pair of jeans. This line, it says, um, look, 10 pounds lighter in 10 seconds. Does it work? It does. It I does? Will tell you I gotta try I these on. I put them on, yeah. and they are, they're stretchy, they feel good. Again, that you want to feel good right. and confident about what you're doing. So do these what are just you need some to do. ideas to try out. Absolutely. Andrea Metcalf, thank you so much. We can all look forward to turning 40 after this. For more health and wellness news, visit our website, the health page at abcnews.com.